Welcome to the Eagle Mountain Saginaw Athletics Showcase. My name is Kristen Barnes and I'll be your host today as we highlight our volleyball programs. First, we have the Lady Rough Riders and Coach Gina Calkins. Welcome, Coach. Thank you. We're How are you here. today? We're good. Good. Well, with the season coming to a close, can you just tell me a little bit about your season? Um, we started out um, a little rough. We had some <coughs> unfortunate injuries. Uh, we only have 12 kids on the team, so there's not a, a lot of backups um, mm -hmm. when key positions get hurt. So then you have to move someone from another position, right. and then you may not be as strong in that position. So. Mm -hmm. You know, then getting the confidence of playing together and know who's next to you and what they're going to do. Um, you know, you try to build that in the preseason. So it took us a while to get to that point. Um, and I, I felt like eventually we got there, but it did take a little bit of time. And um, so, you know, in, like I said, injuries are, are no good and it's right. a battle you've got to overcome. Right. And that's a good life lesson, right? I mean, because life doesn't always go as planned. So Correct. then you just revamp and just keep moving forward. Right. And, and, you know, when you struggle, especially after a tough loss, you have to challenge the kids to come in the next day and be ready to work because this year we change our athletic periods to first period. So mm -hmm. you end maybe on a tough loss at 9 p.m. and then you got to turn around at 7, uh, 7 a.m. or 7.15, we got to be ready to go again. And so you got to challenge them to find some motivation there and, and get after it the next morning. Very good. Now, I know you brought some players with you today. Yes. Who did you bring? Um, well, we have four seniors this year, and one uh, who's not with us today is Ana Ramirez. She's okay. a utility player, a little bit of outside and right side. Um, we have Victoria Quintanilla, who is a defensive specialist for us. And we have Lauren Puente, who is our middle. Um, she played a little bit of right side last year, but this year uh, we really needed her at middle. So mm -hmm. that is her primary role. And we have Justice Vega, who is one of our setters. Um, majority of the time we ran a 5-1 with her. Um, every now and then uh, we run a 6-2, but majority of the time, like I said, we go with a 5-1. Very good. So. Now, all you all may recognize Victoria. She's <laughs> usually where I'm sitting, but she is on the opposite end being interviewed today. How does it feel, Victoria? It's really different. I didn't have to think of any questions, so I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't scrambling like I normally am, but that's good. It's different. Very good. Now, you're a <clears throat> senior, Lauren. Mm -hmm. how, did, how do you feel the season went? Um, <laughs> I feel... A lot better. I like the girls more this year than I did last year. I feel like we were more like a family unit. That's important. Yeah, it really is. Um, I feel like we could have done better this season, but I'm happy with the way we ended it. Like we now found do you, our rhythm, I guess. Right. Do you have aspirations to attend college anywhere? Yes. Um, I want to go to Tarleton or Texas State and then transfer to A&M College. What Station. would you like to do? I don't know yet. <laughs> Very good. Justice? How does it feel going to school with your dad, Coach Vega, head baseball coach, and your mom a teacher? Um, well, everyone's definitely the spotlight's on you, and right. everyone's going to put pressure. They should expect you to behave and set the example, so okay. not too bad. Very good. Now, are you planning on attending college anywhere? Um, yes, ma'am. I'm looking at a few JUCOs to play volleyball. Awesome. And then if that doesn't work out, which hopefully it does, but yeah, I plan to go to A&M. I, and what would you like to do? I'm not sure. Everything that I want is totally different. Medical field or, you know, um, a journalist. So sports oh, journalist. Oh, very cool. They're two very different, though. So. Journalism. Now, is that something you would like to do since you're kind of used <laughs> to this atmosphere? <laughs> I love, obviously, being behind the camera. It's just I watch ESPN, and I want to be just like those girls that get to interview the players. And it's just such a great experience to be still involved in sports. Yeah. Now, you do some cinematography, right? Yes, I do record for the football team. I awesome. go out there every Friday night, and I try to get their highlights, and they all thank me for it, and they're like, you're so awesome, because no one else Aww. will go out there and do it. That is really cool. I know that the, the players probably really appreciate that. So, well, very good. Well, <laughs> now, you guys, the season is finishing up Tuesday. You guys face Azel at Azel, yes. right? And, and, and it, what time does that start again? Um, varsity plays at uh, 6.30 and okay. JV starts at 5.30 right before that. And the okay. freshman A team will also play at 5.30. Um, but, you know, anytime you go to Azel from, from experience, who's, um, you know, been here a long time, and anytime we go over and play Azel, it's a tough mm -hmm. environment. I, I like the gym that's small and it's really loud. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, sometimes you always feel like maybe you get some home calls. Uh, mm -hmm. against you um, nothing against the officials <laughs> uh, but it, it's sometimes we get that feeling um, but you know they they have no district wins so far um, you know so no doubt their coach is telling them hey let's finish mm -hmm. on a positive note but that's the same thing that we're telling our kids there's right. a chance 
you know, finish on a positive mm -hmm. note. You go to somebody else's place and you got to take charge out there. Um, and just for some motivation for these young ladies, um, or a couple of them have some notes here on stats. Uh, Justice is currently a third in assists in a season and third in career assists. And 14 assists will put you up to second in both of those. So nice. there you go. Um, no pressure. And, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> and then Lauren is uh, 12th in kills, career kills, and eighth in career blocks. And just a mere six blocks would uh, put you up one notch for both of those. So very good. There you go. Well, very good. And the good thing about Azel, it's close enough, so maybe you can get some hometown support on We're your hoping, end. Yes, so. on a Tuesday, hopefully. Well, yes. very good. Well, thank you all for joining us. I appreciate it. And when we come back, we will be with the Chisholm Trail, Lady Rangers, and Coach Smith. Welcome back. Now we have the Chisholm Trail Lady Rangers and Coach Smith. How are you? Very good. How are you? Very good. Now you're the new coach on the block this year. I am. Yes. yes. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I hear you're a former Longhorn. I am. I uh, born and raised in Dubuque, Iowa. Got recruited to go play for the Longhorns and was ha happy to say that I'm a member of the national championship team awesome. in 88. So, well, yes. Congratulations. What about your previous coaching experience? Uh, after college, I went and I coached at the University of Colorado for a year, and then after that, I coached at the University of Texas at Arlington. I was the head coach there for 10 years, and then took a break uh, in the collegiate coaching as I raised my children, mm -hmm. and then uh, in the meantime, I was teaching elementary school and coaching club. So, so this is your first time coaching a high school team then? Absolutely, yes. Awesome, awesome. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I hear that you guys may have a run for the playoffs. You're currently 5-8. and eight. We are. So what's it going to take to get you there? We have to win tomorrow against Brewer mm -hmm. and Ryder and Wichita Falls High play. And so if Ryder wins that match, then there will be a, a tiebreaker situation. So um, hopefully it will work out well for us. Awesome. What would you say that you've seen um, the girls progress, maybe like that they've grown from start to where they are currently here at the end of the regular season? They've learned how to work hard every single day, and we've raised our volleyball IQ tremendously throughout the season, and um, they learned how to be really good teammates, I think, uh, playing together uh, as a unit versus as individuals, and, and they've really grown. That's similar to what some of the Saginaw girls were saying, that you know, it is important to have that camaraderie. Absolutely, sure. it is. So, and you actually brought some of your players here today. Hi, yeah. how are you guys? Can you introduce yourselves? You first? Um, I'm Caitlin Edwards. Uh, I play, I've started in the middle this year. I moved to the outside, and uh, I'm also in choir. Um, I'm moving towards NHS. Oh, cool. But um, other than that, volleyball is my main focus. And you're a junior? I'm a junior. Junior. Very good. Hi, I'm Kyla Brodnax. Hi. I play right side, and I'm a junior. Um, this would be my third year, third year on varsity. Awesome. Um, I am, <laughs> I play club, and mm -hmm. I do track, so I'm excited. What event do you season. do in track? Uh, four by four. Awesome. That's my favorite. So what do you guys think of Coach Smith? Your first year with Coach Smith, what what have you learned from her? Would you say? Me? Okay. Um, honestly, I learned a lot from Coach Smith. Um, we lost our coach last year, but it's been it's been a good ride. I mean, it's been long. It's been hard. Mm -hmm. It's been um, very. She teaches you how to work as a team. We awesome. weren't a very good team until Coach Smith came around. And um, we've all learned a lot. She really teaches us. She really takes the time to teach us the little things, and that's what volleyball is about. It's all mental strength. Would you agree, Kyla? I would definitely agree. Uh, coming in uh, in the summer when we had a elite camp and things mm -hmm. like that, uh, I think we were all a little afraid of change. And that change turned out to be really good and positive, and I think we all adapted really well. And uh, Coach Smith has really done a lot for us this season. Very cool. Now, are you guys excited? Not feeling any pressure about possibly the the run for a playoff position? Oh no. Yeah. No. We Y'all are just excited and, yeah. and determined, huh? We're ready. Mm -hmm. Let's well, go. Very good. Well, very good. Well, thank you all for being here. And when we come back, we will be with the Boswell Pioneers and Coach Anderson.
Welcome back to the show. And now I have the Boswell Lady Pioneers and Coach Anderson. Welcome, Coach Anderson. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. Thank you for coming. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I understand that you're a former Division I men's college volleyball player. Yeah, um, I grew up in California. My family moved here uh, to Texas when I was eight years old. Uh, my parents were avid volleyball players, so I just started playing uh, as a kid. Um, and in high school, I played all other sports, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, track. And when I got done, I decided I wanted to play volleyball in college. And I had been playing uh, club volleyball in high school, so I had that opportunity to do that at Rutgers University. Very cool. Now, well, you obviously have the experience. I understand you went 35 and 7 your first year, 35 and 10 last year, and you're currently sitting 35 and 6 with one more game left in the regular season. Can and you also um, just celebrated a huge win with your 100th win over Chisholm on October the 6th. Can you tell me what that meant to you as a coach? Um, you know, it's always exciting to get wins. It's not really for me. Um, if I have 100 wins at Boswell, that means the girls had 100 wins at Boswell. So for me, it's just another win and we're ready to get number 101. Very good. Well, you're sitting 13-0 and in district, currently in first place with one more game against Denton on Tuesday. How are you preparing your team for playoffs? Uh, you know, we, we look at a lot of things to us. It's not really just about volleyball. If we feel the team is you know, working hard or maybe overworked, we'll take some time off away from the court um, and just make sure that we're functioning good as a team on and off the court. Um, so we just kind of evaluated each day what is it that we need to work on. Uh, depends on the opponent that we're about to play. We may work on certain things that week. So um, right now we're just worried about Denton tomorrow night and uh, finishing up district play and getting ready for the playoffs. Very good. Now, finally, can you tell me a little bit about a, just a small little tournament, I don't know, in maybe Hawaii that you guys attended? Yeah, um, the gyms in Hawaii are just like every other gym. So to me, it was just like playing in any other tournament. Uh, we were in a gym the entire time, at least I was. Uh, except they did not have air conditioning in one of the gyms there. Mm. Uh, so that was the biggest <laughs> difference there. Um, but no, it was a lot of fun. I think the girls had a lot of fun. We played some really good competition. Um, we wanted to reach out this year and kind of expand the level of competition that we were playing. And we were able to do that playing against teams from California and Hawaii and I think even one from Alaska. And you guys even went pretty far in the tournament, right? Uh, yeah, I think we ended up third place uh, out of 16 teams, which was uh, the best that a Texas team had finished. Oh, that's impressive. Well, speaking of girls, you brought some of your girls today. Can you guys uh, introduce yourselves with you first? Um, I'm Kennedy Franklin. I'm a senior. Katie Summer. I'm a senior. Danielle Oberwein. I'm a senior. And thank you girls for coming. Now, Kennedy, do you have any plans to attend college anywhere? Um, I hope to go to TCU um, and go pre-med and then see where that takes me. I got a scholarship to play volleyball at Eastern Illinois University. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. I plan on going in and also going pre-med. <laughs> now, Kennedy and Danielle, are you guys planning on playing uh, volleyball in college? or? Yeah, it's kind of up in the air. Like, if I found an opportunity, but right now I kind of plan on going to TCU. Very good. That's impressive. Now, do you guys, are you involved in any other organizations or? We're all in NHS. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. That's, that's tough, juggling volleyball and then your grades. I mean, it's a pretty demanding schedule. So yeah. that's impressive. Sorry. Impressive. Okay, great. Well, let me ask you guys this. What is it like to play for Coach Anderson? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> yeah. Watching my boundaries. <laughs> You're, you guys are seniors. We can speak freely here. <laughs> I mean, I've we've been with him since he got here, and we've really enjoyed it. He's yeah. such a he's a great coach because he's he's been there and he's played, so he knows like what the game's about, and he's taught us a lot and like really helped our team. Yeah, he's always pushing us to do our best, and he's really loosened up a lot since he first came. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now they know how to play volleyball. So, <laughs> so you guys excited about playoffs? Very. Yeah. We're very excited for yeah. this year. Very good. So what, what, in your opinions as players, will it take to make it even further in playoffs than you guys did last year? I think it's our mentality. Yeah. We just have to go in like not knowing that we're better and just play our best. Play your really push game. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, thank you guys for joining us. And thank you, Coach Anderson, for being here. And next week, we will be focusing on middle school cross country. We had a Pretty impressive turnout for middle school cross country this year in our district and we're excited to hear about that but until then we'll see you then